subscribe to mastermind channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of our videos so hi guys this is barsha and you are watching mastermind so friends in this session we are going to discuss iisc as well as cbsc class 11 physics chapter number 1 if you are in iisc it is chapter number 1 units and measurement and if you are in cbsc then this is there in your chapter number 2 units and measurement and uh, today we are going to learn how to find the dimensional formula so friends basically to find the dimensional formula you need this mlt in the form of in terms of mlt you have to find the dimensional formula where m is mass l is length and t is time so this is the formula for dimensional formula you need to use this terms that is mlt mass length and time and for current the dimensional formula is ampere a so the symbol is a so friends if you will do the sums then you will come to know how to solve this how to find the dimensional formula so i'll be giving you examples so that it will be good and you will learn better so find the dimensional formula for the following so first one is velocity so the formula of velocity you all know this this is displacement by time formula of velocity is displacement by time displacement by time so here displacement it is measured in meters so meter is length so we need to write here l that is length and time time is measured in t this is t it is measured in seconds but you need to use this three among this three so displacement it is measured in uh, displacement it is meters it is measured in meters so meter is a length so you will you need to write l and time is t so you need to write t and m there is no m here that is mass so m will be zero the dimensional formula for velocity is m l t where m is zero because there is no m that is mass so you need to write here zero and length l is one and time it will go up so it will be inverse of t t minus 1 you need to write t minus 1 because by uh, it is l by t so it will go up so it will be minus t inverse now similarly momentum we will come to know how to solve it because i'll be giving you lots of examples so it will be good second is momentum so first of all to know the dimensional formula you must know the formulas for this velocity momentum force pressure etc so momentum the formula for momentum is it is the product of mass and velocity so it is mass into velocity mass into velocity so mass is m and velocity is again l by t because the formula for velocity is displacement by time displacement it is measured in meters and meter is length is measured in meters so l here will be l and uh, velocity formula is displacement by time so time will be t so the formula dimensional formula for momentum it is m l t where m is equal to 1 because here is m here there was no m so 0 and l is 1 and t this will go up so it will be inverse of t minus 1 it will be minus 1 similarly force so the formula for force you all know that force is mass into acceleration so it is going to be m into a mass into acceleration where m is mass so it is m and acceleration you you all know the formula acceleration is rate of change of velocity with time so acceleration is meter per second square meter per second square so m is mass here meter meter it is length length is measured in meters so it is l and s square so s is time meter per second second is time so it is by by is there so t square so the formula for force will be m l t and m is 1 here and you can also not write anything here that means 1 is there if nothing is there that means 1 is always there so no need to write again and again 1 you can skip this and l is again 1 so we are not writing it that means same if nothing is there so 1 is there and t this will go up so it will be t minus 2 so this is the dimensional formula for force ml t minus 2 or m1 l1 t minus 2 now the next one that is acceleration so acceleration as i have already said you here also acceleration is meter per second square meter per second square so here meter it is length 
Length is measured in terms of meter and don't get confused. This is not your mass. Acceleration is meter per second square. So it looks quite similar. So you might get confused. So here there is no m and uh, it this is length and this is a second. This is time. So it will be t square. So there is no m. So it will be m l t where m is 0 because there is no m. L is 1 and t is minus 2. This will go up. So it will be minus 2. So this is how you need to find the dimensional formula. Now the next one is pressure. So the formula for pressure, it is pressure is force by area. So here force and friends, let me remind you, let me tell you that force, the dimensional formula force you are going to require, you are going to need it everywhere. So it is better that you learn the dimensional formula that is force is MLT minus 2 or M1 L1 T minus 2. So it is better that you learn this one because everywhere you need, you need this formula. This is the most common one. So SI unit of sorry not SI unit pressure the formula dimensional formula for pressure is MLT minus 2 so directly I'm going to write MLT minus 2 and area area is measured in length uh, area is length square area always you need to write square and if it is volume so it will be cube so area is length square so the dimensional formula for pressure it will be MLT where m is 1 so i am not writing here anything that means it is 1 only l this will go up so it here was 1 already and this will go up so it will be minus minus 2 this minus 2 it will go up so it will be minus so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so it will be minus 1 and time is minus 2 already so you need to write minus 2 so this is your dimensional formula for pressure now next one Dimensional formula for work. So work is force into displacement. So force, I have already said this, it is MLT minus 2. You need to learn this. MLT minus 2 and displacement, displacement, it is measured in meters. So it is L. So it the dimensional formula for work will be ML. So it will be, nothing is there. So 1 is there and here also 1 is there. So it will be 1 plus 1, so 2. And T is minus 2. So the dimensional formula for work it is M L square. Uh, sorry L2 and T minus 2. Now the last one is energy. So friends you all know this. The SI unit of work is joule. At the same time the SI unit of energy is also joule. So the unit SI unit is same for both. So the dimensional formula is going to be same. So the dimensional formula for energy is also M L2 and t minus 2 if you are asked kinetic energy so kinetic energy that that is also energy so the same formula you need to write m l2 t minus 2 so friends this is how you need to find the dimensional formula and this is both it is common for both iac as well as cbsc class 11 this is there in your physics part so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind and do write to us in the comment section if you have any doubts or queries. Thank you.